Bruce said that to transcend technique, it has to punch, it has to kick. You don't punch, it punches, it kicks, it elbows, it knees, it head smashes, all right? It does everything. It grapples, it locks, it chokes, it strangles. It was the transcending of self. You don't know how you hit. It hit. It did hit, hit, hit by itself without even a conscious effort. That's what he's talking about, that the it. So he's transcending the physical. He told me once, well, I don't know if it's true or not. He said that he could see himself, if there was a person he's fighting, that he never fought the battle from here. He fought the battle from here, and he could see himself and the opponent. He says, I says, let me get this straight now. You mean your opponent's here, and you're here, and you're not here watching this guy? He says, yes, I'm watching from here. So he had that saying, and I think it's in one of his sayings, he says, be like a wooden uh, doll. It has no ego. It just moves like a wooden doll because you move. So he can absorb it. Uh, like he said, you can observe things better from a third person. Of art, clearly, like it's, it's uh, when I train uh, fighters, uh, I couldn't understand why they couldn't see the opening <laughs> when they were sparring, right? And why they didn't cover this. Thing. But when you get in there, you can't see the opening. You could see it from the third person, and that's what Bruce was saying. He was seeing it. For a good example, when I played football, uh, if I made a good run, uh, it was so effortless. When you're up there in the stadium, you, you can see the openings where he should have ran left and right. But when you're running with the ball, you can't see the opening sometimes. Right? Your coach from the bench can see it, and your scout up there in the stadium can see where you should have ran left or right, or should, you should have put on a speed, or should you stop short and cut to the left or to the right. But when you're in the heat of it, you really can't see it. Right? That's uh, what he's saying, that he sees it from a third person. Therefore, you can see the openings. That's why a trainer has to tell his boxer or his fighter when he comes back to the corner, he says, loop with the overhead. He's dropping his hands. Because sometimes he's so occupied in trying to defeat his opponent, he can't see it. Because he's not a, he's not a wooden doll. It's, it was a, it, you have to be formless, as he should tell us. And that's, I think, what he's trying to say. It. It does it because he's no longer in the body.